Okay, Greg scoring your first AHL goal in your second game. That must be an incredible feeling for you. Yeah, it was um, you know kind of nice to get that one off my back. And uh, you know I was playing with two good guys out there in Voros and Foster, and um, you know it was a lot of fun tonight. Going out in a, a tough game with the Erie Otters, what is it like for you? What's the change in emotion uh, coming in and going out of this season with a couple wins? Yeah, you know it definitely was disappointing, and uh, you know in Game Seven lost to Windsor there, but. Uh, you know, I got the opportunity to come here, and um, you know, we got two wins, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Now, your line mates, uh, the power play, especially your line mates in the power play, yeah. uh, contributed greatly, four for four in today's game. Uh, any words of wisdom from Dallas Aikens going into the game, trying to ignite the special teams? Yeah, he just said, um, you know, the night before we kind of shoveled on the on the PK and the PP, and uh, you know, Mules and um, you know, Hodge, you got it going there, and um, you know, it's nice to see the uh, you know they're clicking out there, and um, like I said, we played a good game tonight, and uh, you know. It was nice to get the two points. Coming into the game or the weekend is your first time uh, meeting with Coach Dallas Aikens, and apparently he gave quite the emotional speech afterward. What kind of words did he have to share with the team here that he had worked so hard with all season? Yeah, he's um, you know obviously he's a passionate coach, and um, you know he just said keep work and don't take any day off, and uh, you know he's right, and I learned a lot from him so far. And then for you, how are you going to keep working and not take any day off? What are your plans in the off season? Yeah, I got a strength and conditioning coach back home, and I think, um, you know, for me, a big thing is getting stronger, and uh, you know, that comes with working every day. And um, you know, to play here, the guys are a lot bigger, so I think that's going to be key for me. Greg, you've been a welcome addition in the last two games to the team. Congratulations, and we'll see you at camp. Thanks a lot. Do you see how his second shutout of the year? Any comments on his performance tonight? Yeah, he played well. You know, he was a rock back there for us, and. Uh, you know, we need the big stop. He was there, and um, you know, he did a good job. Mm -hmm. um, how do you look back on your uh, full body of work over the uh, 2011 uh, season, starting back with the uh, prospect camp and everything? Yeah, it's you know, I got a lot of good experiences from that, and I think um, you know, we had a good year in Erie. We had a good team, and uh, you know, fell kind of short in the playoffs there, but uh, you know, we lost to a good team in Windsor, and then coming here, uh, you know, you just gain a lot of experience playing with these guys, and. Um, you know, like I said, I've learned a lot from Dallas and the coaching staff here, and uh, it's been good. It's been good for me, and I think I had a good year. Uh, I'm glad you brought up the UHL. I wanted to pick your brain a little bit. Um, who are some of the uh, draft eligible players that uh, people should be looking out for? Draft eligible? I'd have to say um, Strom, um, you know, guys like that, Pompel, Hamilton, they're all good guys. They're all, you know, I think going to be first rounders, and uh, really got a good crop of guys there this year. and. Uh, you know, I think it's going to be a strong draft, a deep draft, and um, you know, I hope them good luck.